actors Meghan Markle's dad won't be walking her down the aisle at this weekend's royal wedding after all. TMZ is reporting that Thomas Markle will undergo surgery after suffering a heart attack, forcing him to miss the nuptials. Melanie Ying is in the UK where the royal watchers are gathering ahead of the big day. That flag means the Queen is in residence here at Buckingham Palace, but four days from now, she won't be. Of course, she is going to be in Windsor for the royal wedding. The countdown is on. We are in London where the excitement is building. We spoke to a number of tourists from all over the world, including a number of Canadians, some from Toronto. <laughs> are you guys here for the royal wedding? Well, I haven't got my invitation yet. It's in the mail. Don't worry. It, I'm, I, I'm waiting for my invitation. <laughs> Thank you. I'm here to have lunch with the Queen today. So see that flag up there, which means that the Queen is in residence. So right. I think if we turn and we wave, she'll see us. What do you think? <laughs> do you want to try? I think Sherry's I'm peeking sure. at me over the top of her. Okay, really. you know, like if there, we did it, we, there they are. Yeah, yeah. We'll just do a wave. There. To have an American princess means something special to you? Yeah, yeah, it's cool. Now we're all a little bit British. What do you think about this pair, Meghan and, and Prince Harry? I think they're the greatest. They're representing uh, what's happening in the world and they, uh, positively. Times are changing. Yes, yeah. for the better. You've got kind of the American excitement, the Canadian <laughs> excitement, and now the British excitement. Yeah, it's terrific. It's an international wedding. You have multiple citizens of multiple countries coming together, and that's what the world needs. And this is just the beginning. Don't forget to follow us as we give you everything royal wedding related. Starting tomorrow, we will be live on BT throughout the day on all of our social media channels and right here on City News in the evening. At Canada Gate, outside Buckingham Palace, Melanie Ng, City News.